Okay, so it's now phase eight of switch. Phase eight? No, week eight, phase three. Ha, try again. Hey, so this is my diary update for um, Switch DXB um, and our journey through Switch 360. Today is just the end of um, week eight, which is um, the first week of phase three. And we've kind of moved into a whole different routine, really. We've switched mostly, um, the big difference is that we've switched from a lot of late night training or evening training if you like through to morning training which I'm loving because I get up quite early every morning and I'm, I'm not so much the the late late night bird so um, that's quite good so today we have just got back from stand-up yoga stand-up paddleboard yoga which I absolutely loved and I, I started a bit nervously because to be honest I thought I was gonna make a complete idiot of myself and um, fall off a lot um, I, I did fall off obviously but I really enjoyed it it's um we're at Sofitel on the Palm. It's peaceful on a Saturday morning. When we arrive, there's hardly anybody there. Um, yoga on a paddleboard. I don't know. I, I just felt quite comfortable doing it. It's very relaxing. Um, and we've got four more weeks of that, so I, I can't wait to do that. And hopefully I'll catch a nice suntan at the same time. Apologies for Lexi. She's always gate crushing my videos. Um, yesterday we were at Organic. We went to the right market at Zabil with Victoria Tipper. So Victoria's our nutritionist and next week we're doing a cooking class. So this week we went and had to look at some of the ingredients and had to chat really about what you would buy, what you wouldn't buy, what's the sort of healthy trend. Um, and, and just being quite honest, you know, some, some things, you know, are quite essential if you're going to splurge and, and spend some, some money on organic produce, spend it wisely, spend it this way, um, health benefits. It was just very interesting being guided. It's, it's a completely different thing to read a book and try and remember stuff versus being guided by someone who's talking you through it as you go around. So I'm quite looking forward to the cooking class and to making some different things. So that will be good. Um, before that, let me think. So Thursday, we um, went to Fly Bar, Fly Wheels, um, and did some indoor cycling. That was a really good class, downtown Dubai. Um, early start, it started at seven. Absolutely love that one. I, I'm a big, big fan of RPM and spin classes, so um, I enjoyed that. It was in the dark, so kind of that's quite interesting. And I think it's one that you can get quite competitive on if you want to. They'll um, turn on your, your sort of pace and you can, you can cycle away to that one. So I enjoyed that. Caught the sun today, you can see. Um, and yeah, I've got surf, surf her hair. Um, so I enjoyed that one. And also after we'd finished, um, Phil gave us some vitamins and some protein shake that we've got from Juice Plus. So I haven't used that yet, but that looks quite interesting. I need to just do a bit of research on that one. So that's sort of helping us along with our nutrition and making sure that we get all the right nutrients that we're supposed to have. Um, day before that, did something called Lift for Life. Um, really, really um, hate lunges. I still hate lunges, but did about a million of them, it seems like. No, no, actually, I have to say, when the guy said to me, we're going to warm up with some walking lunges, my initial reaction was, I just can't do lunges. I mean, okay, well, let's just see. And actually, I, I did something like 30 lunges, one after another, in a sort of walking lunge thing. I can get down way further than I could when I first started. And whilst they might have given me jelly legs at the end, it's a good exercise. It's really good. I, I really enjoyed that because um, there's there's a kind of set format in terms of how you work out in that, that gym. It's very interesting in terms of adjusting weights and adjusting tempos as much as everything else. So it was very much about lifting. Um, very, very functional movement. It continues the story of what we've been doing, which is looking at functional movement, getting your position right, training properly. Um, hard work, yeah, absolutely. The last, the last sort of couple of sets were absolute killers in terms of a bit of a cardio workout. But I can definitely feel and see that I'm making improvements from when I started, so that's fantastic. And then I think we had a couple of days off when we didn't do anything, which was good because I've had a really crazy week at work. And then um, last Sunday, we we did a class that I think just left everybody on an absolute high. We did a boot camp with Ko8. Um, suspension kind of training and functional training and boot camp and skydive Dubai and Sean who just makes us laugh who makes us work really hard we did some boxing did some suspension stuff we I, I just think the whole team just had such a blast we loved it and we're doing that again so um, can't wait to do that 
so yeah we moved into a new phase um there's a few things that i'm missing from last time and there's a few things i absolutely intend to continue once we've sort of moved past the 12 weeks of this program um nutrition is very much up to us to do things now i'm beginning to see some real changes and people are seeing changes in me which is good um, I'm also doing intermittent fasting, so I'm trying not to have my first meal until 1, 2 in the afternoon, and then my last meal is about 8 o'clock in the evening. It's very good for fat loss, and I'm certainly seeing differences in terms of how clothes is fitting. So that's my plan. I'm going to continue with that one. So I'm sorry, this is such a really long, long talk this week, but there's so much to tell you, and, and it's really good. So um, catch you next time.